Hi, I'm Bogdan. Let me present you the new password authentication we just added in my tokens. This is actually an extension to the existing API functionalities in um, my tokens. And so far, you are able to log in through my tokens using a username and a password. But that was not very secure, so we've extended it. And now you can uh, pass through, you can log in using some sort of token that was negotiated between two servers in advance. So the first thing, you have to have a level of trust between two servers in order to generate this token. And this is the setup. So you have one DNN that has my tokens and you have another site that would be anything, but that site connects uh, uh, to my token server side, generates a token and using that token, it redirects the client browser to automatically log in into the DNN site. So I'll just go into my tokens and show you how you can create a new API key and just choose the password authentication and it will also generate a secret key. And you can actually create your own secret key. It doesn't matter as long as it's long enough and random, so uh, not easy to guess. And you can also apply some IP uh, filtering to, to further enhance security. Okay, so once you have this API key, the other server can connect to, to my tokens and you have uh, an example URL here. It can connect to the server and the se uh, the, the, my tokens will return another URL that is, uh, the other server needs to redirect to. And I will show you uh, an example in, in a few so you can uh, understand what I'm talking about. But right, right now I want to explain you what all these parameters mean. So you, you basically have the portal ID, which is the DNN portal ID. And then you have the API key and the secret key that I've just shown you. And then you have the username. And then you have the client IP. And this one is actually very important at this stage because the user that is on the other side has an IP and that user IP needs to be transmitted to, the, to DNN, to my tokens, and it will be used to create the token that it's only applied for that uh, IP address. So I this is one additional level of security. And this is also important to know that if you have like an intranet site and you want to pass through an external site, this will not work because the user has a local IP when it comes to the internet side and when it's redirected to the external side, it has a different public IP. So this will not work. And finally, th there is the forward URL and this is where the user will be redirected after a successful login. And this is actually an example of a an URL. But I already have this set up and I will just show you how to do it on uh, in the browser, directly in the browser, but you do, you will not do that. You'll connect always um, server to server. So first thing, I I I have to go and search for my IP address, and I have to find this is my IP address. Okay, so I need this IP address, and I already have a URL save somewhere here. So this is one of my test sites. I already have an API key. And all I need to do is replace the IP address with my current IP address. So I will just put this URL in the browser, but normally this will not be done via the bro via browser. It will be done server to server. So the server will make programmatically, it will make an HTTP request to this URL. And this URL, I'll show you right now. It will uh, it will return an another URL. Okay, so I'm just going to this URL, and you see it generated another URL here that is basically uh, an encrypted string. So it has all this information encrypted here. Only the API key is used to get the data for decrypting this string. So I just take this and put it in a new 
tab and now you see I'll be logged in and uh, probably when the site comes back from um, uh, loads in IIS I will see the page that I was redirecting to and that is the let me check the getting started page so I should arrive to the getting started yeah and here I am okay so using same for example uh, let's say I want to go to a different page I want to go to uh, about uh, about us page <coughs> or just to the company page actually see I, I would just get this company I would just put it here in the URL okay generate a login URL use that uh, no that's not correct I was on in a different test so company okay I'm generating the new URL I'm putting it in the new site and you'll see I'm redirected to the company page so this is it the first request needs to happen server to server it will generate this login URL and this you just issue a browser redirect to this URL and you're done and finally I want to to reiterate a few ideas so you have to be aware that tokens expire after 15 seconds so you cannot store them or you cannot take too long so for example you cannot generate them when you generate the page and expect that the user may be clicking that link at some point and you want to log in it log the user on the other side no if you want to do that you uh, point the link the uh, click the link to your site and then on your site when the user clicks that link you generate this url and redirect to the result and then um, like i show you tokens are restricted by the user IP address so you have to be very careful with that and finally you have to know that the pass-through will not work for administrator users so there is uh, no danger for someone to impersonate an administrator user so for example if you even if you establish a level of trust between two servers that trust may extend as far as saying okay you can log in regular user but you cannot log in as administrator on my site so this uh, will prevent from uh, from giving administrator access and that's it thank you for your time and i hope this helps <laughs>